Hi there ladies, I'm back today to share with you another nail art and today it's a collaboration nail art that I've done with some ladies from Instagram and I'll leave a link to their channels down below if you're interested. So as you can see I've gone all out with my magnetic masser polishes so I've used 19 in total so I will have all the colour numbers listed down in the description box for you if you're interested and because the mag the actual magnetic polish is so beautiful I just kept the um, stamping really really simple so I'm going in with a couple of coats of LA Girl Defiant it's quite an opaque black you can actually do it in one coat but I've actually gone ahead and done two today but it is opaque in one if you do quite a thick coat and you will need to protect your cuticles so I'm just using cuticle protect from Claire Jelly Stamper Store and if you're interested I have got a 10% off discount code which is my name Manisha you can just use that at the checkout and that will give you 10% off your whole purchase with them they've got some beautiful plates you really should check them out they're great for layering so I'm going to be sponging on these polishes and um, just really really randomly oh and I forgot to mention I actually did put a coat of sesh feet before doing this um, sponging technique because I wanted to make sure my base polish was completely dry so I've used four brown polishes in total for this thumbnail and the numbers are all 904-110-173-184 and 199 so I will have um, them properly listed down for you. I buy all my Masera polishes from um, Hypnotic Polish and they're based in Europe. So now that I've finished painting the thumbnail I'm just going to remove the latex barrier and there's just a tiny bit of clean up to do and I'm just doing that with some polish remover and my brush. If the polish is stubborn you can use acetone and then I'm going to be applying a layer of sesh feet so this basically just reactivates the polish and then I basically just hold the magnet um, both ways on the nail and underneath the tip of the nail for about five seconds. It doesn't actually take long because the magnet's very, very powerful. And that one is actually from the um, Masara brand as well. And then I'm, I've sort of done a real quick show of the green polish. So I really just want to show you the beauty of how it all works. So the method was exactly the same as for the thumbnail just sort of splodged on some green polishes and then I've just used my magnet again and it really does bring the polish to life it's really pretty that's that one there and then the blue polishes so same method again the blue polishes I've used are they're all starting with 904 and then the numbers are 119 171 183 and 191 and I've just put, put them on randomly. There's a little bit of silver in there too with this one because I've only really got two true um, Masara blue polishes in my collection. So I've used a couple of grey silvery coloured ones. So that's the blue one finished there and on the um, ring finger I did purple. So I've got three purple polishes there. And the numbers for these ones are 904, 116, 191 and 169. Um, because I order them from Europe, they don't actually have the names printed underneath in English. Um, and I just go off the numbers. You can actually just check on the website, they'll have the names listed on there too. This one goes a really, really deep colour, but then later on when the particles settle, it does come up quite shimmery you'll see later on and then last but not least the um, pinky and I'm going to be do that, doing that um, nail in some pinks and reds so one of the polishes is one of the newer collection ones and it's quite quite shimmery they've put a lot of glitter in there so I thought that was quite nice and the colors for this one are 120, 170 and 193 
So I tried to sort of do like a rainbow effect with these and um, I was sort of going to do a bit of an overlap on each nail but then I decided just to do one colour story for each nail and just do a mixture of um, different shades for each one. And there you can see the beauty of magnetic polish. I really at that stage did not want to stamp over it but then I decided because it was for New Year's I just would do some very very simple stamping. And so I've used um, quite a stiff scraper today. Sorry I'm off camera there. So I found my flexible scraper that I normally use and was just taking out too much polish because the um, plate is quite shallow, shallow etched and so you do need quite a firm scraper so you don't lose any of the image there. And then there's just a bit of confetti there and that's pretty much it done. So I finished it off with some top coat. There you go again, you can see the magnetic magic happening before your eyes. I really do like my um, magnetic polishes and the Masara brand ones are really, really pretty. Leave a thumbs up if you like what you've seen today and subscribe for more creative tutorials. And you can leave a comment down in the description, in the, sorry, in the comment section. I do answer to everybody and thanks for tuning in to my channel and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.